Sam Phillips here from R Marine Jones and today I'm going to show you through one of our latest listings to come to the market. At 60 feet she truly does look amazing underway and in the luxury sport yacht range she's a leader in her class. The large teak laid swim platform lowers down to about waist height to allow the garage door to open and to launch your tender easily. On top of this swim platform we've got stainless steel rails that are removable with wire joining the two. This open plan cockpit is really designed around having the extended family on board, all those extra guests. You've got two large lounges here and then a barbecue situated over here on the starboard side. Everyone's together and can enjoy the moment. Up on the foredeck we have a really large sun pad with folding backrests and also a folding bimini. That's a great feature to stop that harsh sun being on you at all times. You've got the shade and the shelter when needed just to spend that time out there a little bit longer and enjoy the sundowners. Moving inside the cabin now, the galley is situated on the port side and towards the aft of this level. Greeted with a large stainless steel hopper window, it really opens this whole area and brings the outside in. One thing this boat is not short of is refrigeration. You've got plenty of drawer fridges and freezers, a dishwasher drawer, an oven convection microwave, also an electric cooktop. The Samsung Smart TV is on an electric bracket via remote, so you can control how far out or where you want this TV to be, whether you're laying down along the starboard side lounge or you're sitting around the dinette having a meal with the family. You can watch the TV and control the angle of that. The helm station on this Riviera 6000 Sport Yacht resembles more like a sports car than it does a boat. Fitted with the highest end luxury gear, you've got Garmin glass bridge screens, your digital display for your engine data, and everything within arm's reach. It really makes it comfortable to sit here for long lengths at a time. Very easily by removing a pin you can slide these singles together to create a double bed for another couple. Moving further forward in the boat is your forward cabin or VIP guest cabin. This has a large island bed lots of natural light again, and its own ensuite. Over on the port side of the boat, we have another guest cabin. Depths up onto the top bunk, makes it very easy and safe for kids to get up on that top bunk. The full beam master cabin is really fit for a captain. You've got lots of room, it's very spacious and airy. Huge hull windows on both sides with opening portholes. Electric blinds to drop down and cut the light out. As you can see here, it's a king size bed right in the centre with full walk around and lots of headroom. I'm six foot four and I've got plenty of space here. It's really great. This is the ensuite for the master cabin with large hull windows and opening portholes to really give you that light and airy feeling a large shower with a wraparound seat. It also has frosted glass, so when the bathroom's not in use, you can open that glass 
and it really gives you that full beam master cabin feeling. One key feature about this model is the walk-in robe for the master cabin, full length mirror, and as you continue around to the center of the boat, you've got your utility room, which is a really great place to store your fishing gear, paddle boards, whatever it might be.